You always enjoy Lynx golf, Chrissy? I like it a lot. It's a different style of golf, and um, you have to play the bounce. And, um, you know, I, I really love this golf course. Is there anything in particular like about Barton? I just like how it's out in front of you, and you can see where you need to go. And, um, you know, the, the approach shots into the greens, they suit my eye. And uh, these greens are very good, so I, I like the course a lot. How did it play in the program today? It was pro probably a little bit wet, was it? Yeah, the first four or five holes was uh, we, we played in the rain, and um, you know it was quite cold. And then we you know, we expected it to rain the rest of the day, but it actually cleared up. So I don't think even the weather people <laughs> know what's going to happen here. But um, I think I shot even on one under par today in the tough conditions, so I played well. Can I hark back to the uh, your great win a few weeks back, uh, winning by 12 shots? Is that the best golf you've ever played in your life? Absolutely. Um, like I said, that week it was a dream performance, and you know I've struggled a little bit um, the last couple of weeks, and and um, you know hopefully I can play well this week. This is obviously a major championship, but uh, you go in here this week with a fantastic race at the top of the players' rankings. Does that add a little bit of spice to the whole thing as well? It does. You know, it, every week counts, and and um, you have to, you know, you have to, you have a chance to be number one every week. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's going to be exciting, you know, till the end of the year. Okay, I've, uh, I've hogged enough uh, questions. We have a roving mic here. So if anybody would like to ask questions, uh, Pete, please go ahead. Patricia? Uh, how important is it to you to finish the season as world number one? It's very important. I've, I've worked my whole life for it, and, and uh, I'm in a position now to do it. And... Uh, you know, but there's so much golf left this this year that you have to you have to be in it kind of every week, and you know your bad finishes need to be in the top ten. And um, you know, it's an exciting time I think for the LPGA because we have a number of different players that can be number one. It's very important to me, though. Questions. Thanks. Uh, on that note, do you think that if you win a tournament by 12 shots, you should get extra points in the rankings? No, it doesn't work like that, obviously, but it, it certainly felt well to play that well in, in Rochester and to win another major championship. I've been close the last couple of years from my U.S. Open win in 2007, and it was it was good to get another major championship. Um, you know, for, for world number one for the rest of the year, it's, it's going to take a, probably another couple tournament wins, so... It, it, I've had a good start to the season as far as um, trying to accomplish that, and I've got to keep playing well. It was a while back, but do you have any strong memories of 2005 here? I remember how bad the weather was, yeah. <laughs> but I played a lot of um, I played a lot of good golf that week, and you know I, I birdied. I think I birdied the last hole to finish fifth, and um, you know this this golf course is one of the best in the world, so it should be a good week. How much is becoming world number one on your mind throughout the week, and or can you keep that off your mind while you concentrate on the job in hand? Well, I have to keep my my eyes on the job at hand because I've been number one. I've lost, you know, I've lost that, gone to second or third now, and you know now it's time to chase and get that back. So it's it's a fun challenge, but um, you know you just gotta gotta post good rounds, you know, consecutive good rounds, and then it'll happen again.